In the last video, I set up this Unify 6 Enterprise Access Point, but I didn't get it quite right. Okay, so if you haven't seen me install this, this is that's part one, go and watch that. Um, that's linked there, because that's where I go through all the features of this access point. However, I was trying to get my uh, Pixel, 6, Pixel 7 Pro to connect to it on the six gigahertz band, which is what you get with Wi-Fi 6E, and it wouldn't connect. I thought it was my phone that was, um, well, not working, there was a bug in it. Turns out I didn't actually enable six gigahertz on the access point for a very good reason. Now this comes with six gigahertz band enable or disable by default, um, not enabled. <laughs> and be that is because there is a, the security protocol that you use to connect to Wi-Fi is commonly now WPA2, which has been out since 2004. So all your devices where they connect to the Wi-Fi and change, you know, share credentials, etc., that's done with uh, WPA2. With Wi-Fi 6 and 6E, there is now a WPA3 standard or protocol. However, if you enable that as you have to to use 6 gigahertz, it will kick off all of the WPA2 compatible devices, which are most. I, um, I think I have like three things that will connect via WPA3 or something like that. Not many. And because of that, I didn't have 6 gigahertz enabled on the W, uh, on the, um, oh gosh, so many acronyms on the Unify 6 Enterprise Access Point. So in this video, I'm gonna set up a brand new SSID on my network. I'm gonna enable six gigahertz on that and WPA3 only, and then I'll use my uh, Pixel 7 Pro to connect to that SSID to see if we can get onto the six gigahertz band. Hope that makes sense. So 2.4 and five gigahertz supports WPA2 and three, but not three exclusively. W, uh, 6 gigahertz and Wi-Fi 6E uh, e only supports WPA3. So that's why it's disabled by default. So let's talk more about that. But for that, we have to go into the network controller and set up a new SSID. All right, we're in the network controller for the, uh, for the Unify network. First of all, uh, I just want to mention that this all came about because Danny MM in the comments of the video, of the past video, said, hey, you need to create a whole new network to support uh, WPA3 and 6 gigahertz unless you want everything else to disconnect. And he was absolutely right. So thank you, Danny. Uh, and this is why I love this channel. I, I love you commenting on the videos because I learn a ton from it. And in turn, I hopefully I can give it back. Anyway, so according, you know, according to Danny, we need to create this. And I completely agree. We need to create a new network. Uh, I'm in the network controller. We're going to go to our settings. And here you can see I have three SSIDs already. I have my IoT network, I have my guest network, and I have the last frontier, which is my main network, which is what I try to, you know, get six gigahertz, six gigahertz working on. So we need to create a new Wi-Fi network, which will be just for WPA3 devices, right? So we have to give it a name. And of course, this is an opportunity to you know, show a bit of personality in your networking infrastructure. I know. So, we're gonna call this one Llamas in, oops, the fast N. Because why not? And the password, like so, we got a password. And then, of course, we need to set everything else. I'm gonna put advanced onto manual, because you have to do that in order to enable 6 gigahertz. We're going to enable, so I'll just show you here first. We have security programs. Oh, it actually defaults to WPA3. Interesting. But if I say set it to WPA2, and then I enable 6 gigahertz, like so, it is going to change it back for me. I can only choose WPA3 or 3 Enterprise. I'm not sure what the difference is. Or the open security protocol, which I'm not sure what it is either. I am not a security expert. I just know that WPA3 is the new standard. Uh, in general for connecting to Wi-Fi networks, but let me know in the comments if I'm missing something here, obviously, and I'm, I'm happy to, to learn. Um, so we've enabled six gigahertz on this uh, network, which you have to do in the advanced settings, and it's a standard Wi-Fi type. This is not a guest hotspot. I've already got one of those, 
And then I'm gonna leave everything else as default because I am not sure what all this means. I am definitely not, this is not my field of expertise. So maybe in a future video, I might learn some, about some of what these things are. And then it does say here, WPA3 is a new security standard that has been known to cause connectivity issues with certain Wi-Fi devices. This is what I said. If I changed, or if I enable six gigahertz on my last frontier network, well then it'll change the WPA3 for all devices and it would basically kick off everything. Like most things don't connect over it. So smart TVs or phones that aren't brand new latest generation or um, uh, vacuum cleaner or whatever it is that you have on your network. Most of those things would just not be able to connect. Right, so that's where we're sort of right at the cutting edge of Wi-Fi 6E, 6 gigahertz bands, but that's the whole idea of this video, right? So. Um, yes, be aware of that. And then all of this, again, I'm going to keep, I'm actually not going to have any MAC address filtering. I have that on one network. Um, and then Wi-Fi scheduler, if you're not familiar with that, you can turn your Wi-Fi on and off according to a schedule, if that's what you need to do. All right, so these are my settings. I'm going to keep most of it's default. Make sure you have 6 gigahertz um, enabled. And then I'm going to add that Wi-Fi network, and then that will take a little while before that's um, up and running, I'm assuming. And then there's one last thing we need to make sure is set correctly in order to use the six gigahertz band. Now, because it's a new frequency, it has to be approved by the government in each country. And Unify has a list here of the countries that are supported. So Unify has six gigahertz support with, you know, obviously you need the hardware. And here's a list of countries that in Unify's world have been approved. Now, Australia is not on this list. You can see there's no A. However, in April of 2022, I believe it was approved for use. So this list just hasn't been updated. Uh, but this list is the one that the Unified Network Controller goes by. So I have to change my region to one that is supported. So if you go into the settings here and you go to region, country region, I have set mine to United States because that is one of the countries that does work with six gigahertz band. Now, I'm sure this will be updated over time, and I would imagine that Australia would be on there you know, rel relatively soon, but for now it isn't. So I need to change my region so that I can use the six gigahertz band uh, on my network. And I don't know what other implications it has as such, changing the region from Australia to the United States, um, but that's what I have to do in this case to get six gigahertz working. If you know other implications of doing that, let me know in the comments and uh, I will adjust accordingly. <laughs> um, but with that, let's go back to the kitchen and connect the Pixel 7 Pro to the six gigahertz band and we'll do, we'll do a speed test and, uh, and get connected to that new goodness, goodness of Wi-Fi. Yeah, um, all right, we'll go. All right, so now we've changed the region and we've made a new SSID just for WPA3. So the SSID will still work for 2.45, but also 6 gigahertz, but it is only WPA3 uh, security protocol for you know actually connecting to the Wi-Fi. So as you can see on my screen here, I am now on the 6 gigahertz frequency. Finally, yay! <laughs> um, so, I'm connected to obviously to that. That is the only 6E device that I have or access point. So that's the only one I can connect to with 6 gigahertz. But you can see it's WPA3 personal as well. Again, I don't know exactly what's the difference between personal and enterprise. Let me know in the comments if that is important, if I need to know or if everybody else needs to know. So let's go into Wi-Fi Man, which is the Unify um, network discovery tool and speed test tool. It's actually quite good if you haven't used Wi-Fi Man before. There's also a really cool AR feature where you can do a heat map for your physical location. I did a video on that, which is linked there. Uh, in this case, let's just try and do a speed test. Now, the cool thing with the Wi-Fi Man is that you can do a speed test, you know, click on the speed test button and you press, uh, whoops, just on the UDM Pro and you can do a speed test just on your local network. Obviously my internet connection is not going to go faster because I have 6E. But let's just try this and do a speed test just on the local network and see what we get. So again, this is Wi-Fi 6 and you can see the speed here just goes almost up to a gigabit. Now I believe you probably can get a gigabit on Wi-Fi 6, but I mean 900 megabit 
more or less. It is really fast and that's why we want to use Wi-Fi 6, right? It's really, really fast. Um, but now, yeah, I've got, I'm on the 6 gigahertz network. Um, I have a new SSID, Llamas in the fast lane. And, and we, uh, we have really fast internal network connectivity. So if I were to get a connection that was one gigabit, then I would be able to actually use the Wi-Fi 6E or Wi-Fi 6 to its full capacity. So that was part two. That was the bits I missed in the last video. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below. Uh, again, I learn a ton from it as does everybody else on the channel. And until then, I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. Bye.